Welcome Matters With. I'm your host, Philip Bryan. Today, we're here to discuss Novel Matters With You, After Death, by international best-selling author Dean Koontz. Dean Koontz is one of the most prolific authors over the last 30 years. The past 30 years? The last 30 years? The past 30 years? The past. I'm going to go with the past 30 years. Dean Koontz is one of the most prolific authors over the past 30 years. After Death is... A mixed bag. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with a mixed bag. Let's get some of the details out of the way. After Death is produced, produced, published by Thomas and Mercer. The audio version is presented by Brilliance Audio. It's 382 pages in hardback and 9 hours and 24 minutes in audio version. And when I say it's a mixed bag, that means I'm look. This is comp... This is a difficult review for me in many ways. I don't want to get long-winded about this, but here's the thing. I'm a big Dean Koontz fan. I've mentioned that before. I was disappointed in his last book, and this book is better than that one. I think it's better than The House of the End of the World. However, despite being better than his last effort, it's well below his best. It's well below his above average. If you had not read 50 of his novels, maybe this novel would seem really groundbreaking and well-written with great characters. And the novel has a fantastic idea. I really like the idea. And I'll get into what that idea is. However, the execution and the characterizations, eh. Do you know why? One of the promo pieces for this has the term been there, done that on it. Well, these characters, Michael, Nina, Durand, John, Elam, they seem really familiar. So the been there, done that in the marketing material feels a little ironic. But the premise I really like, and I don't want to spoil the book. The premise is strong. The characters feel not generic, but generic to a Dean Koontz novel. Some of the situations feel very familiar once you get past the premise. The dynamics feel very familiar. For example, when I was listening, I listened to this one. Eduardo Ballerini does the voice acting narration, and he is absolutely fantastic. His performance gets an A. The material, the situations all felt very familiar. Again, been there, done that. To a Dean Koontz novel, I had echoes of Lightning, echoes of Midnight, echoes of Servants of the Twilight, echoes of Darkfall, and, and also of Hideaway. All of those novels felt better written than this one. And maybe it's because I read those first and listened to this one later. And if that had been flipped, it would be the other way around. But those came out first. Some of those are 30 years old. Why am I still reading the same characterizations under different names and different situations? I do like the premise. Michael Mace is in an accident and wakes up after death, or more like a near-death experience, with the ability to speak directly to the entire World Wide Web. The way he's able to communicate with every connected device in the world is fascinating and done well. That's kind of where it ends. After that, I was bored. I was bored, and I'm disappointed. If you have only read a few Kuntz novels, I'm going to give this a B. It's fine. It's okay. It's it, Actually, it's better than fine. It's probably good from that perspective. If you have read a truckload of his novels, if you've consumed those novels and you have retained what those characters say and do and how they act, this is all going to feel like a lot of deja vu. A regurgitating of the same characters in different situations under different names. That's not what I'm looking for, and I don't think from a critical standpoint I can highly praise that Redundancy. Love Dean Koontz's work. He is still one of my all-time favorites. This book pales in comparison to even his above-average work. The voice acting gets an A. The novel in and of itself gets a C. Let me know what you th thought of After Death. Let me know what your favorite Dean Koontz book is. I highly doubt this will be it. And if it is... 
my recommendation would be to check out some of his others that are similar and better. We'll talk soon. And another thing, the one character in here that I didn't think was well written, even by any measure, was Elam and his goons. I thought they were packed full of literary cliches that at times felt uncomfortable.